Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I am so sorry I did not upload last week. I just started my second year of A level so I'm getting back into the swing of things. Especially as my timetables change so I have to adjust my new timetabling. And I just had to get back into the swing of things. But I am back and I'm back and I'm full of, I'm full on ready, ready to film. I'm just going to do it while, you, while you're here, just before you go, because some people don't watch to the end. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn my notifications on, and also give this video a big thumbs up. And comment suggestions of videos you want to see below. Also, I will leave my Instagram on the screen again, like I did last time, because it I always put things in my story, and it's where you'll be able to see things. And like, if I want to do a and a for example, it will always be on my Instagram story, rather than in the video so that'll be on the screen right now for you to go and follow so go check that out right there and I'm gonna get on with the video today I have decided I am going to be doing the makeup doing my makeup in reverse challenge so basically I would always finish off with lipstick and start with concealer so first I would first do concealer and I'll first do lipstick and then I'll do my concealer last so basically you go in the opposite way to how you normally do your makeup and I thought this would be fun because I've got all my stuff here, which is why I'm in a kind of different setup because I'm actually sat on my bed rather than against a wall because it's much easier because I have my products right here next to me. So it's easier for me to film because I can get things really easily and just go like that instead of having to walk halfway across the room to go and get something. So they are right here. I have all my brushes and everything. It's actually what I took on holiday with me. So let's get on with it before I start rambling and this just turns into something stupidly long right i'm going to put my cat ears on these are from claire's by the way i'm just going to put these on to get my hair on my face because as you can see i've had a haircut and my hair's a lot shorter and i've also got more of a fringe now so it kind of gets in my face more so i'm just going to do that and i'm going to see you in there we go bit. now we can see better so as i'm doing my makeup in reverse that means i have to start with my lipstick so this is the Rimmel London lipstick in 200 moisture renew lipstick in 210 fancy it is a really pretty color and it's kind of a bit autumnal actually because it's purple but it's not really a really dark purple because a lot of those colors don't really suit me I'm just going to use my surf palette to, for a mirror. I'll also be using this later one. So I'm just going to put this on first, I suppose. This is weird. I've also done my moisturiser and my lip stuff. This colour doesn't really have a lot of colour, which is what I kind of like about it. It doesn't have a lot of colour. It's more like glittery as you can see. So that is step one done, I guess. Whoops. And then normally, yeah. Normally I would go concealer, powder, highlighter, eyeshadow and mascara, then lipstick if I wear a lipstick. But since I am doing it in reverse, I have to start with this. I need to get a tissue first. Just a tissue. Because if there's only one tip I always give you, if you don't want really clumpy mascara, is wipe it on, wipe your brush on a tissue first. Because it still leaves stuff on the brush, you're not going to lose like half your things. But I find it makes my mascara less clumpy and a lot easier to apply. And this is just a Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara that I use all the time. And then back to my Sophie palette to use. This just feels really, really weird because I don't do my mascara first unless I'm not wearing mascara that day, unless I'm not wearing eyeshadow. But I guess I have to do eyeshadow. Oh my god, this palette is so messed up. Like, what happened to my black? It's got all crazy. And it's all dirty on the front. Don't know what's happened to it. I can't see what I'm doing. Here's another bit of this. I know this bit's a bit boring because you don't you do your mascara etc anyway. It's just a bit boring but straight after I put it on anyway, because I am it's actually five o'clock in the evening. 
I woke up at quarter past nine this morning and I had high hopes for the day and then I sat around for three hours and didn't really do anything. So today my day went well. I would have this would have filmed yesterday or today watching this. The day you're watching this is a Monday and I actually have four hours free tomorrow to do absolutely nothing really because that's how my timetabling is this year. It's ridiculous. I have four hours free on Monday and a Friday and on Fridays I go home for two hours and then Mondays I don't go home at all and I only go out home for an hour because my school's made a really dumb rule that basically we can only go home after 12.30 which is ridiculous because they're like why are the queues so big because you have to physically sign in and out and it's like why is the queue so big that's because you don't let us out home earlier so we can't um leave so we can't get food or something so everyone has to go when they have a free period in the afternoon and if they don't have a free period before 12.30 then they are suckers they are basically screwed It is pretty ridiculous, but I do finish at 1.30 on Tuesday, so I'll have time to film because I am hoping to upload on Wednesdays this year. Coming, um, if you want to see a Q&A, for example, just let me know below and leave me some questions. Also, check my Instagram story because there will be questions on there too. And yeah, this is like more, it's a really chatty kind of challenge sort of thing. I guess if I am doing my makeup in reverse, I do what I usually put the shades in the crease before I put the one on my lid. So I put the one, the shimmer down first and then do the crease if it was fully in reverse, which is kind of strange. So I need my flat brush and taking this one. This is a Studio London brush, came in a set last Christmas. I'm, I'm pretty sure they have it again this Christmas and it's full of Aldi, so I'm just going to go. I have absolutely no idea what look I'm doing today. I think I will go and see as I go, I suppose. So as I'm doing my shimmer first and then my other colours make this fully in reverse, I'm taking this colour here and this is called Sparks Fly. I actually don't know what I did with the um, plastic insert that comes in this but I kind of know the colours, not really, so if I get the names wrong, don't worry, it's just because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh uh, god, this is so weird. bother with my shadow and sometimes I can't be bothered to put makeup all together. It just depends on my mood and how much time I have that day. So that just felt really weird but I just put some gold there. And now I'm going to take my fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques base shadow brush. It looks like this. And I guess I go dark to light. I'm doing this in opposite order. So I will take, ooh, I don't know what colour to take, hmm. I think I'll take this one here, this darkest brown, and I'm going to take a little bit because I'm still not completely sure what on earth I'm doing. I'm going to tap it off and then put it on the outer bit of my eye, and in the crease. Only challenge it just feels weird because you're doing your makeup backwards instead of doing it normally like I'm not used to having mascara on first it's like uh, mm. 
Plus, I haven't done mascara, I haven't done eyeshadow in ages. So now I'm going to take a lighter colour, I suppose. I'm going to take this one here. This one. I'll take a little bit, just wipe off my brush on my seams. Take a little bit of this one. And then a... Maybe a bit of this one. This one. Just run these both through my crease, just to blend out the edges of it. flat, big, old, fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges a bit because it looks a bit great. Light on because it wasn't on earlier so I was only relying on natural lighting. So it is on now. That's my main light by the way. Right, that's one eye tongue, my god. It feels so weird. I'm sorry, I eyebrow. I don't do my eyebrows, just saying. They're not something I do on a daily basis or at all, to be honest with you, because I'm not really an eyebrow kind of gal. Because, as you can see, they're barely seen, and when they are, when I do fill them in, they look awful. So I don't usually do it. So now I'm going to just repeat that on the other eye. So I was at, My summer was actually pretty good. So, now I've done my eyeshadow, I've done my mascara. I will do highlighter, then powder, then concealer. Yeah. So, oh, who's messaged? Someone messaged me. I will shut my mirror now because I don't really need it, and I will zoom. I'm just going to do my out. highlight. I'm using Sophie's collaboration with Revolution. I'm going to do my highlight next, and I'm going to take this shade here, this one here, and I'm going to just put this where I normally put it and I'm using my new look brushes that I got and it's the fan brush, it's really soft it's really nice I'm just going to put this in my normal places so it's just going to go really well and tap tap and then up the sheet Next, I would normally do my powder, which is going to be fun because I just made my face really shiny and now I'm going to make it all matte again. I'm using the Rummy London Stay Matte Powder in 001 Translucent as normal. I'm just going to go tap tap. Then get my palette eye mirror because then I can't see a thing. Make my life easier. And I'm just going to put this all over my face and normal. Because normally I would set my concealer in place, but since I have not done my concealer yet, this is really weird. And I guess since the last thing I ever use now, I use, the first thing I always use is concealer. And that's the last thing I'm going to use. So, I'm going to be using my Conceal and Define Revolution Concealer in C1. I actually just got a brand new one of these, so it's just it's fresh. Brand new one, because my one ran out. So, oh, look at that, it's massive. And now they've actually introduced a jumbo size one and a foundation. So if you want me to test them, let me know this is so weird because i don't do this last normally normally i put it on my eyelids i'm gonna put it on my chin 
and put that on my forehead too. It's been a while since I've used makeup to be honest with you. I haven't really done like a proper full on makeup look in a actually really really long time. Like, the last time I did a full on makeup look was a good few months ago. The last time I actually put makeup on was my granddad's birthday meal and that was end of August. So it's been a while. Now this just feels really weird because normally I do this with it. So I am basically just ruining my makeup. Today is a ruin your makeup kind of day because you're doing your makeup in the reverse and I'm ruining my sponge. Or is it me? But when you get to autumn, it's like autumn, woohoo! And then it's also like, oh crap, it's school. <laughs> Because I love autumn fashion, but I don't like going back to school. And my school's changed to dress code, which is a lot of crap. And basically now I have to wear business smart casual wear. Can't wear jeans, can't wear tracksuit bottoms. Couldn't wear those in the first place. Can't wear trainers. Have to wear a jumper or a cardigan. Have to wear a skirt or a dress or a pair of trousers or chinos. At least I got away with my Doc Martens. If they wouldn't have let me wear my Doc Martens, I would have upped and left that same day and be like, forget this, I'm out. I'm going to Scotland for a large year. Forget this for a lot. I am not staying here where I cannot wear my Doc Martens. If I can't wear trainers, I have to be able to wear my Doc Docs. I get to wear, I can wear my Doc Martens though, which is good. Oh my word, this is so weird. If you have any back to school videos you want to see, let me know below. I can't really do a stationary haul now I'm back to school because I was actually packing my pencil case the way before school started and I was like oh crap I was going to do a haul and then I just kind of didn't get a chance to do a haul in the end because all my stuff is packed. But if you want to see what's in my school bag slash in my pencil case video then let me know below as well as any other back to school videos you want to see like a makeup look maybe or I don't know. So that's the traveling finish. That is doing my makeup in reverse. I will zoom you in and let you see what this looks like. Because it doesn't look so bad on camera, but in the mirror, like as you can see. The powder kind of set, like, it didn't really do anything. So it. it did more to, less to this side than it did. To this side, and then I put some as you can see, my mascara kind of just sort of rubbed off with that um, concealer. I just kind of rubbed all of my mascara off and a bit of my eyeshadow because since I didn't like mascara concealer over my eyes as well as like underneath here. It kind of went all off and like all the mascara hair is underneath my eyes are gone and then my eye and nose. Yeah. Ooh, wrong way. So just gonna take this off. And then there we go. That is doing my makeup in reverse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any other makeup challenges you want to see, then let me know down below and I will see you about doing them for you. Also let me know any back to school videos you want to see from me down as well and I leave those in the comments as well as any questions or other video suggestions you have. And I will leave everything I used in linked below in the description as usual, as well as my Instagram. And I will see you guys again next week for another video. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up and notifications bell. And I will see you guys soon.